Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football. Here we are talking Miami, of course. Uh, we got uh, Zoe on the line. It's Alonzo1219. So here's the deal. You love Miami football. You love college football. Uh, even if you don't like the Canes, you got to keep track of them. You got to be aware of them. They're relevant. So you jump on YouTube and you go to Alonzo1219 and you subscribe to his channel. Zoe, how you doing tonight? Man, I'm good, man. I'm, 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 I'm highly blessed. You know, I'm highly favored. So ready to ready to get this get this season kind of going a little bit but we got got a little surprise for a young man who's actually um won 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 it twice well he came in second place the other time and first place this time so we're going to start out with that I guess and then we'll get into a little Miami so um you want to do the drum roll I'll do the drum I'll roll I'll do the drum roll and I'll first mention that uh, I've got a latch on to the first thing you said because that's the truth and that's the truth with me highly favored blessed uh certainly uh, nothing to complain about uh highly favored and blessed so that's a good word from you and and i uh say the same thing here so we ran a contest uh, it actually ran from june 15th to july 15th and this was courtesy zo this was all zo out of the kindness and generous of his heart saying mark we've partnered up We've done some good work here. I appreciate you. And this is just also being the kind of guy that he is supplying me with my first giveaway. And uh, so we ran the contest for a month on who could give me the most subscribers within that month. And it wasn't a big surprise that 19 Savage was the winner. Because he uh, has supported Zoe. He supported me. I see his comments all the time on both channels. And uh, he's a great guy. Yeah, 19 Savage, man, um, he, he, he's a go-getter. He's actually a Texas Longhorn fan, and he's all over the place. He, he goes to everybody's channel. And it, but what, what I love about him is it's never nothing negative. He supports everybody. He support, he's a college football guy. Um, he's a 19 year old young man who's, who's who's always very active on the um on the YouTube scene, and he just he's just out there. So on my channel, he ended up winning a um he won second place. We ended up winning a shirt and a hat on my channel, and on your channel, he ended up winning the the the, the, the Texas Longhorn chain. So he's going to get him a um a Texas Longhorn chain, hook him horns, and congratulations to 19 Savage, man. I'm I'm, I'm proud of him. You, you, you was the runner-up last time, and you brought home the championship this time. So um, you can let your, your brothers and sisters and parents and friends and everybody know that, that you won home, You brought home the chip this time on the Mark Rogers Challenge. So That's big, it big right thing. there. So, so that's like losing the uh, Super Bowl, losing the national championship game, coming back the next year with a little bit more uh, fight, a little more umph, and, and getting the job done. And uh, he's going to be looking good. Oh, yeah, he's going to have he, – he got the Texas Longhorn, brand-new Texas Longhorn hat – Brand new Texas Longhorn shirt, and I'm gonna get with my girl Michelle to get him that that Texas Longhorn jewelry. So when he posts on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever he's on, when he gets on there and goes to some games, he's gonna be looking like a a Hurricane Longhorn. <laughs> he's, gonna be, he's gonna be looking like a Miami Longhorn. <laughs> so he's gonna be he's gonna he's gonna be different. There's, I can almost guarantee you there's gonna be nobody in Texas. Looking like looking like 19 Savage. The name is going to fit. He's going to look savage. Maybe you two will match up in the college football playoffs and people really be confused with him walking around with that thing on. But, uh, yeah, he, he did a great job with that. And um, so certainly, uh, 19 Savage, we, we ask you, uh, just when you're displaying that thing out there, that you let people know where you got that, that that's all Zoe um, supplying that for you and uh, helping me out with uh, my first giveaway. So... Again, I've said it several times. This is uh, what Alonzo One Two One Nine is all about in regards to giving back. So, so we appreciate it, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Like I say, Michelle's going to do the courtesy of making it. I'm going to give her a call tonight or probably tomorrow sometime. But she she makes the best time series. I mean, if you just look at her. You you I, I look at people who make these things, man. I've seen them like all over the place, like different ones and stuff like that. And, and Michelle's stuff is just like. You have you have people say second to none. Now she's the best at doing this, and um, if you really want a smaller one or a bigger one or, or whatever, I mean, she makes them to where it's everyday wear, 
Nice, my guy, man, nice small Yankee one and a nice small New York Nick one. Um, she is the bomb at making these, and um, she's just she's just good at making them. So 197, you're gonna have you a nice a nice chain. I promise you, you you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it, and it doesn't turn and stuff like that. As long as you you know keep it pretty, keep it pretty clean and hang it up. It's, it's not gonna give you having any have had any problems with any of mine. So, but see, Zoe, so I I couldn't pull that off. Well, maybe not the big one. <laughs> but they she makes she makes the smaller ones, the ones that like an everyday little regular little regular chain, you know what I'm saying? So she I ask you have to see my smaller ones. It's like a little dog chain almost, you know, something yeah. like like something that you can wear like every day. So she makes she doesn't just make the big shiny ones, but these are for these are just for the football games for, for when people it's for the effect, you know, people want to see them and everybody wants to take pictures. They want to take them off your neck and take pictures with them. So that's what these are for. But for everyday you everyday wear. She makes the smaller one, so. So we always love to talk with Alonzo1219. Uh, Alonzo and I connected on social media. It was sometime during the uh, last football season, during 2017, something in that range. And uh, he does a tremendous job on his channel. Uh, pulls off some things that I can't get away with. He's got, he's got the groove and the swag going that I, I just, you know, I cut it straight down the middle, and that's the best I can do. But, uh so you got to check out Alonzo1219 on, on YouTube. So, uh, you know, we're Facebook friends as well. And I, and I, I noticed that uh, you're all over the place uh, creating more content now. And you took a trip down to the, uh, the promised land down there in South Florida. Uh, yeah, you got to tell us about that. Yeah, I went down to Coral Gables. I, I, I keep saying that if I'm going to do – especially Miami videos. If you're going to like, if I'm going to do New York, I'm from New York, I'm going to do Knicks videos. I have to experience that. I have to, I have to experience. I feel like um, if, even if you only go once or twice a year, you have to experience the atmosphere. But I have season tickets, so I'm trying to go five, four or five times a year. But now I want to go, I, I've kind of partnered up with um, Footballville and there are them over at Footballville and set on seven, eight, six canes. Those guys are like amazing. So they did the, um, the paradise camp this week, the last couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago. And I went down and I got in, but it was like a little too crowded for me. I couldn't like see things. So they, they told me that don't worry about it. We'll get the film and everything for you. And paradise camp is amazing. I think it's probably, it's probably the best football camp in the country. Just the way Mark Rick has everything set up and, it's almost like under the lights, like Friday night, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it starts at like six o'clock and it's, it's over on, um, I forgot the name. I'm sorry, I forget the name of the practice field, but it's, it's just, and it's in Miami and it's just like the palm trees and, and they, they actually get it in. It's, it's an all day event, but that when, when the nighttime comes, when really, it really, really gets, gets in, I, I, you don't feel that excitement. I'm not, I'm not, I love high school football, but footballville takes it to another level. Um, I'm actually gonna try to get those guys on with you one day because those guys, they he has like forty something thousand subscribers and he he grinds and um the best football players in the country are at Paradise Camp and um those guys find the best football players in the country. So they invite I, I went down and got an opportunity to 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 just see it from not from the college perspective but from the high school perspective and and see how the coaches do the recruiting and see how they do the um bringing those guys in and it's it's just amazing to watch all these kids come in that's just so talented um so athletic um so smart um and they get in there and they just they just, they're just having fun and, and playing football and you get to be a you're a part of something different then because these are the kids and um, some of them are committed to Miami, some of them are committed to Ohio State, some of them might be committed to Michigan, some of them might be committed to FSU, but they all come out here and they put their best foot forward for that camp, and I, it was exciting. It was exciting. I, I really, I really enjoyed, you know. And then walking through, I got my my hats and my shirts made while I was down there, so I got my Lonzo One Two One Nine um hats, and I wanted to do like the '80s. I wanted to go back with the style of kind of the '80s, you know. So um. I'm walking around and um and, and, and um I, it's the flea market down there and the guy told me he can make some shirts for me so I got a couple of shirts and hats made up so I'll be getting a whole bunch more made up. I'm gonna send you one over, send you a shirt and hat over that you that you put your break dancing days back in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure I get you get you a shirt and hat over there. Um, but I mean it, Miami is it's a different city. I walked around um the um. 
what is it? it's called the gala it's like the gala where they do all the art and stuff at i just walk i walked around and you know just just enjoy it, it was, it's, it's a different city so I, I i really say like if you're if you're a college football video maker um if you don't i think you you have to go to your games sometimes i'm not saying you have to go all the time but i'm not just talking about away games you have to go to home games you have to do those things because it gives you a different perspective on and i lived in miami so you know what i'm saying it's not not too much different for me but being away for so long and then going back it's it's a different thing so you know i, I really enjoy and then giving it to the fans you know video chat and then you know doing those things going live and let and letting the, and letting the, letting, the, letting, the, letting the fan base know letting the family know that you know you're out here and we're doing big things you know and we're, we're going to get it done. So I think, the, I think the fan base really appreciate that as well. Attitude persuaded. Did you just Attitude personified. That, or has that been a thing for a while? Attitude personified. Personified. Okay. Yeah, Attitude personified. Attitude personified. It persuaded. No, it's personified. personified. Yeah. Um, what, what, what happened with that was I am a big C.T. Fletcher fan. And I don't know if you guys know, you know who C.T. Fletcher is. And he had a heart attack. He had another one. He had another heart transplant. And, you know, everybody, you know, his attitude is just, like, amazing. This guy, he's almost maybe 60-something years old. He's had two heart attacks. Um, he's had a heart transplant. And his attitude is just, you know, go get it. You know, I'm going to, I'm a, I'm a beast. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to conquer everything. And it's just an amazing attitude. So I hear so many different attitude things. And to me, it was just, you know, Attitude personified, man. It's just no matter what the challenge is, man, go conquer that, you know, because this guy, he's an amazing guy. And he speaks so well and, and so direct. And his attitude is his attitude is personified. So I felt like that would be a a good name for Alonzo one two one nine. It's attitude personified because I, I try to bring the energy. My attitude, we, the way you see me now is the way I am. There's no, there's no, um, I, it's not an act or a, anything like that. This is who I am. So my attitude is who I am. So, and it's, it's not a bad attitude, but you have to, you have to have a correct energy all the time. So. There's a lot of good reasons to have kids. Now my kids and my son in particular, he's always looking for motivational guys. And so, so that's the reason I know who CT Fletcher is. Now, uh, I saw the one clip that you showed on uh, Twitter and Facebook. You caught Mark Recht coming right off the practice field. You and a number yeah, that, of guys. That was actually a friend of mine. He called him. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he called him coming off the field. I couldn't catch him, but um, he got some film of him coming off the field, and it was just. I mean, it it, it was um. You were. I, I was more at all. You know, you you're just like because first time you know being around anything like that, you know, and it's uh, so many people there, and it's he's just so many. And like I said, football field. Those guys there. Oh my goodness gracious, they. Those guys are amazing. I'm serious. And this year, if you look at the football, the videos I put up, if you look at the videos I put up with all the editing in there, that's those guys. They did the filming and they did the editing themselves. And um, he just allowed me to share those on my channel because, you know, I, I'm not good at that thing. So <laughs> he allowed me to share his video. I, I called him and I said, Darren, man, you mind if I um, say, man, go ahead, man, share those videos, man, you good. And like I said, he got 40,000, I got 3,300. So. <laughs> It's not like I'm, you know, giving him any any pub or anything, you know. But um, the the way they do their work, those guys are just class acts, man. And it's not something that I would get into because that's their lane, and I understand what my lane is. But it's definitely something I'm going to help them spread more. So they're going to come up here and do Spring Valley and Dutch Fork and Ridgeview and Blythewood and um Somerville, all the schools up here. They want to come up here and give these guys some um some publicity as well. So I'm gonna get out to the high schools here, so those guys can come up here, and I'll actually film some stuff from here and send it to them so they can do the editing, because they're good at getting these kids, and that's what it's all about to me anyway, the kids. So they're good at getting these kids, you know, some pub and stuff. So you know, just those guys. Hey, when you get into it, like you say with me, you you find people that that you can click with and that you can you know grow with a little bit and those guys like like you did for me you know what i'm saying they they you did a lot for me you know i don't think people understand just by by when you called me i was like Mark Roger. <laughs> and then you you kept me on and it, it was it was all the time thing and 
those guys, it's been more people look out for me than I have looked out for them, you know. So I appreciate it. That's why I always try to get my hand out. Cause. I don't know about that, but uh, we get Alonzo1219 on the line. Uh, check out his channel, Alonzo1219, the U family. And, uh, of course, subscribe to Mark Rogers TV. We're just three weeks away from the whole deal starting up, regardless of who you root for. So you got to catch me, like, comment, and subscribe do all the good things that we need to uh, help drive the channel. And speaking of channels, so now that I've got you on Facebook, got you on Twitter, it, it seems like uh, you're, you're um, just taking a little bit different approach. You're, you're just trying to get yourself out there a little bit more, take a different feel, uh, putting some different stuff out there. Yeah, I'm not a big, I don't, I don't know how to like make stuff go viral and stuff like that. So I don't I get, either. I wish somebody told me. I get frustrated sometimes. I tell people I do a lot of um, I do a lot of things. I try I try to keep myself involved in some things and try to make. But it's, people don't run, understand that it's really hard to grow doing this. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're doing it for, for a small school like Miami, and you're doing it um, you're just doing one school. So it's it's, it's so hard to grow doing it, especially when you don't have the technical skills and the savvy. And like me and you were talking earlier, you have people that that'll come on and say they're going to help you. But are they really, you know, my thing is, are they really here to try to help you or, or what? So um, I tell people, man, I had a guy get at me one time. I was like, stop begging for subscribers. I said, stop watching my channel. You know, um, I'm going to ask for subscribers because that's how we eat. You know, so I'm going to ask people to subscribe. I don't just wa want people watching. I'm, I'm going to ask people to subscribe because that's how we grow. That's how we, that's how we, that's how we, if you talk and you want somebody to listen, and I feel like I do. I ain't gonna, I'm not 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 bragging on myself, but I feel like I do go the extra mile, you know, um, to do things to make to make it um, fan friendly, um, to do the call ins, and I like the thing I do on Sundays to get people to you know call in and enjoy themselves. And somebody said I was drunk last week. I wasn't drunk Sunday, but I was definitely um, I was feeling a little good, <laughs> so feeling you know. Good. But um, just a Sunday brunch, you know, just to have people not just call in and talk about football. Sometimes we've had talks. Sometimes we spent the whole hour, actually went on two hours just talking about life stuff, just having fun as a Hurricane fan base. And just to get to get the everyday stress off your life sometimes. You don't just want to always watch me talk. Sometimes you want to interact with me. So that's why I do the live videos so people can call in and have conversations and interact. And it, it doesn't always have to be about football, you know, because I say one, two, one, nine to you family. We're family, so we don't just talk about football. We talk about life something. We, you know, one time we were talking about dogs and um, what dogs are allowed in Miami for like an hour on the show. So, I mean, we just, you know, just do things a little different than what everybody else. Get, get a little outside the box. You know, be a little unorthodox sometimes, you know. So try to do that thing, you know, to see if see if people like it. And a lot of people seem to like that. So we're gonna, we're, when you have off season, you know, people still want to be involved. You know, so give them something to be involved with. It's a long off season, that's for sure. It's almost come to a close here, and I can certainly learn a lot from from Zoe. And, and I'm trying to show some some different sides here from time to time, and not be so uh, into the nuts and bolts all the time. But uh, no, you, yeah, we all have our lane. You are the I keep telling you, you are the voice of college football, and I need you need to really embrace that because. No, there is no person out there that who, who goes out there and seeks out people to give them opportunities to, to come on your show and 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 do it. Like I say, I mean, like I say, I, you the voice of college football. Somebody called me the voice of Miami. I appreciate that. I because hey, I think I'm the voice of Miami. I think I I speak loud enough for Hurricane fans. But Uncle Nash is also he a bigger voice of Miami to me. You know, Uncle been doing it for a long time and he gets you hyped up. But you are the voice of college football, in my opinion. Not not those guys that you know sit behind what's the name because those guys do it and they get paid a lot of money to do it, and they don't look at us. And you look at the people who give people the opportunity to talk back. You know, I would love to see you take call in sometime. Though I think that'll be a um, you interview very well. Well, I got so to tell you, see. though, what happened here is uh, people have been telling me that, and, and people have been asking that, and I got an app. Last week, it's called Phone Burner. Got it here on my phone. You need to send that to me because I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I don't either. I, I was asking around to people that know, do you know any kind of phone apps? So there's a way to do it the right way and do the software through the, the, the computer and do it the right way. But I'm not going to do it the right way out of the gate because like you, I'm still I'm building up. 
things are going to get better. Things are going to look better and all that at some point. But uh, I got this phone burner. I had a seven day trial and I took one phone call. It worked good enough. And, and it, what it basically does is it's a, it's, it's a, um, it's basically a fake phone number. So they're still calling my cell phone, but nobody knows what my cell phone number is. So it gives yeah, you, you don't a, want to do that. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows what my number is now. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to But do they don't that. bother me. It's it's a surprise that they don't bother like the hurricane fans, they actually respect if someone texts me and, and, and I'll text them back and they only they don't I haven't had any I'm surprised that I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any issues with hurricane fans. It's amazing that like they don't bother me. I'll get a text every now and then. Hey, what you think about this? And I might text back four hours later, like, oh, uh, but I let people know I'm working or I'm doing this. And my bad, bro. You know, but I mean, it shocked me that they don't bother me. I'm, I'm not going to always use my own number. Though. I'm going to do something like that. But Yeah. So, so I'll let you know how it works out. I, I got the free week uh, trial and then I think I'm going to re up on it and I'll let you know how it goes because I don't even know. I can't even find on this app how much it's going to cost me. But uh, yeah, well, I'd love to do a call-in show. It's a lot of free ones out there. My daughter's created a couple of me for free. Oh. So it's a lot of free ones out there as well. So I mean, so you're man, people use them every day. Where it gives you a, yeah. f- a fake phone number. Yeah, hey, Naomi. Oh, she's around. The- Tatiana. <laughs> what, what, now, what's, the, what, what's some of the free apps for phone numbers? Uh, this is what I do, family. I'll get my kids involved too. What's get some of the free around. apps? For phone numbers? Come here. Round them up. Come here. What's some of the free apps for phone numbers? This is my this is my youngest daughter. There's one called Text Now. Text Now. So stop looking me. Te- text Now. Mm-hmm. It's called text text now. Okay, yeah. One of them is Text Now, right. and it's a it's a few other ones. But yeah, they they got me a few other ones. Uh, you, are you, you, are you probably got to Google free free phones or whatever or free phone lines. Yeah. But for, for internet or whatever, and they'll they'll give you some because they got me like three or four. I just hadn't set them up yet. Yeah, because I want to take calls. I, I think that's the next step here. To take some phone calls. Yeah, you, you're good at interviewing. Now, next step should be phone calls and Ohio State videos. <laughs> I want to see at least one. I want to see calls. Because, I, I mean, I'm telling you, there is nobody doing Ohio State videos. And and you're, the way you analyze is just, like, you, you can analyze every team. Me, I can just, I, I, I can watch every game. But it's like, you, you, you can analyze almost every team. And even though you get people on here, you know what you're talking about about every team. So if you did Ohio State videos, it would be awesome. Well, it's going to be it's going to be nuts around here over the next couple of weeks because uh, I'm doing schedule rankings right now and I still have to finish off the last 22. I did about what 48. I did the 70 schedules and when I get those done though, over the last like 2 weeks of the season, I'm going to be doing nothing but previewing every team in the nation. So I'm going to do like a 5 to 10 minute video on every team in the nation, all the power 5s, like 70 teams, previews and predictions. So they're going to be coming out rapid fire. I'm going to have to do a lot of homework and uh, knock I those out. See you on, on your Ohio State video, you need to put your shirt and hat on. Represent your, represent your buck. This is the shirt right here. Nah, you got to throw your t- – uh, 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 it, it ain't even got to be a T-shirt. It can be a Ohio State button-up like, like that and, 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 a, and a ball cap. You got – I'm telling you, I'm, I swear, if I, I know if you, if you did an Ohio State video, you would probably get 5,000 subscribers that week. All right. Well, we're going to appreciate it, but we're going to change the subject here because can you imagine? So we are three weeks away and we're going to keep Zoe on for just a couple minutes. And uh, we are three weeks. So on this Thursday night, me being the knucklehead that I I am, I know that uh, I'm going to be locked in on Northwestern Purdue. That's a Thursday night game. And there's going to be a few other stragglers out there in terms of some college football. But that that Sunday night, of course, is LSU Miami. Uh, I know that you're going to be on. I'll be on. Hopefully everybody can, uh, y- you know, go watch Zoe. He knows Miami, but uh, hopefully you can catch me as well. But uh, it's just going to be nuts previewing that game. And then as soon as that game's over, with everything I've heard on my channel from people talking trash on both sides, it's going to be fun to to see who's going to put up or shut up after that game's over. Well, I've already told the um, – I-, I call the LSU fan base, not all of them, uh, I don't know if you ever watched the real husbands of Hollywood with, but um, not the husbands. The real husbands. It, it, it was a comedy. It was a comedy. Oh, okay. Um, it was Kevin Hart, and he would have all his <laughs> his friends who were um married to like married to like celebrities. <laughs> so um, they were really married to celebrities. So he, they did like a skit, the real husbands of Hollywood, and he would call his friends. You know, you know the, the females. You know they would be the, like the B word or whatever it is. He would call his friends Mitches. 
<laughs> so I decided, I decided to call the LSU fan base, and I'm still calling them Nick Saban's Mitches. <laughs> Nick Saban. So every time they get beat, they get beat like Nick Saban's Mitches because they talk so much trash. They're constantly talking, and I'm like, and not all the LSU fans. I I, I enjoy a lot of them. But to be honest with you, I gave an open phone line last week, and I told them, hey, you got an issue, call in. And it was one guy, and I can't think of his name, but it was one guy who called, and I respect him because I went at him hard. He came back at me. He didn't come back with no facts, but he just came back at me. Mm-hmm. And um, no matter what I said, he was fighting back. The rest of those Mitches, I told him, if you post anything on my timeline, I'm deleting it because if you didn't have the guts to call in and talk to me, I'm not. I'm not even accepting any of your um, any of your messages in my timeline. You Mitch. So that's what I told them. And every time they were um, in the timeline, I deleted them. But um, after the game, win, lose, or draw, I will be on the air, and we're gonna be fighting. So that's what we we gonna we gonna go in after the game, man. So it's gonna definitely be a um. It's going to be a live event after the game. It's going to be a fight after the fight. It's going to be a, so, I mean, you that, those are things that you do to get the fan bases involved. I think I think the LSU fan base will come strong, win or lose. Um, they're going to come at me this time. You're you know not, what that tells me, though, is that after the LSU-Miami game that I'm going to have to be on for like five hours because you'll be on for about four hours, and I'll have like ten people watching me, and then they'll all, uh, they'll, no, they'll all flood on over. I'm only going to be on for maybe 30, 45 minutes. So what I'll end up doing is I'll collab with you and let, let me know what time you're going on. And then I'll go on. No, 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 I'm serious. I'll, when the gun oh, sounds, I, you go on. When when the I, gun sounds, go on. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely going to, um, I'm, I'm one thing that I'm, one thing I'm not going to do is, um, interfere with anybody, especially like you, 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 people don't understand like, Miami football, like you've done a lot for Miami football. Like, I mean, hey, you've done a lot. You brought you brought all the Miami guys on, you know, and that's not that's not a um. Most people don't do that, so nah, I, I would never I would never interfere with your doing. So I mean, if anything, I would go on for an hour so you can probably prepare your stuff and everything, and then they're gonna come over and, and bombard you. <laughs> because they're gonna be aggravated. Win, lose, or draw, there's gonna be some aggravated people. But well, well, I'm definitely. Not- this is how important this game is, is that um, not just for LSU and Miami, but for Mark Rogers TV, because I know how many people love Miami and I've got a ton of LSU people on here as well, is that uh, I work Sunday nights. I work from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. I took the night off because I got to watch the game, of course. But in addition to the, and even if I had to work, I'd come home and it, it would be on the DVR. I'd watch the game anyway, but I, I got to be on and ready to roll because, you know, people are waiting for it. So I took the night off work. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be – this is an epic game. Um, it's going to be, you know, highly watched like the Notre Dame-Miami game. It's going to be – and I think that was the most um, highly watched regular season game in the history of college football. So this one might be just there. You know, um, it's definitely going to be – it's going to be a battle. Um, you see I let my grades come in. I'm not even down my beard no more. I'm letting my, my wisdom show – uh, so, um, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're, we're definitely gonna give them everything we got. I'm just, I just hate what I think the, the main thing that I totally hate about SEC football, and this is what I hate about it. I'm serious. This is, when I say I hate, I really hate this about SEC football, is no matter how bad or good your team is, every team in the SEC claims the SEC except for Alabama. Alabama is the only team that you don't hear screaming SEC. Every other team, because they can't win, screams SEC. And the West is good, but it's not great. Ole Miss is in trouble because all the cheating they did. Um, I, I tell people, Missouri came and won that conference two years in a row, so I don't even want to hear nothing. The East has always been trash. There's only always been only like two teams. And But the media built them up to be so great. So they think they're that great when they're not. Florida won. The only two teams I know won recently out of the East is Florida. And then Tennessee won in 99. So all the teams are in the West. And the only team that really went out of the West is um, Alabama and LSU won two. You know, Alabama and Auburn. 
Yeah. So I think I think is 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 I think it's a tough conference, but I think that SEC fans, their their crutch to stand on when they can't beat nobody is we're in the SEC, and I just think that's a lame duck. I'm a Miami fan. I'll root for ACC teams because you have to, but I am a Miami fan. I am not an ACC fan. You're not gonna see me saying ACC. And I'm gonna say Miami. Win, lose, draw. I'm a king. I've never heard Ohio State say Big Ten fan. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's stupid to me. I mean, it's just like, but SEC fans are some of the most irrational, I'm calling y'all dummies, yeah, that I've ever seen in my life because they scream SEC, all SEC. What's your team doing in the SEC? Oh, we can't win because we're in the SEC. Gamecock fan, but we're in the SEC. Well, you Outback champions. You get the free steak for life. That's <laughs> about all you're going to get, man. Little onion loaf, too. Yeah, a little on your low. Man, I, I, I swear those are the most obnoxious fans in the world out of any fan base because they, they don't root for their team. They root for their conference. And to me, that's just like serious. You root for your conference, not your team. I care about Miami. I don't care about Florida State or Clemson. When you mention that you root for the ACC, what I'm guessing is you're basically, if your conference does well, it makes your team look better because obviously you beat teams that, that went out and won other games against the other conferences. Well, see, I, I respect the teams that we play against. Like, I respect Clemson. You know, I have nothing against. I respect Florida State. You know, and if they're winning some games, I'm going to root for them outside of the conference sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. This depends who they're playing. But if Clemson win a national championship, that has absolutely nothing to do with Miami. That's Clemson. That, that, that championship hangs up at, in Clemson. If Florida State wasn't that championship, that has nothing to do with Miami. So why am I saying I'm a I'm an ACC guy? I mean, are you seriously kidding me? I mean, come now. I root for Clemson against Alabama, just because I hate the SEC because they are so overrated. Oh my gosh, they overrated. I'm, they overrated. I swear. ESPN and and Fox and all these they they. The SEC gives them all the money, so they have the biggest fan. They got the biggest fan base. They they do a media day for the SEC for three days, and everybody else get one. You know, it's like, you know, four days. Four days. Four days, and everybody else get one or two. And I'm like, you give them all this publicity and all this, and I'm like, for what? The only team that's over there as good is Alabama. So stop it. When Alabama don't win the SEC, who wins it? Ohio State will win. Clemson will win. Florida State will win. Come on, stop. Oh, well, we beat each other up. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Everybody got the same amount of players, same amount of scholarships. If Ole Miss wasn't cheating with Condici and all of them, they wouldn't even be – they ne they never been good. All of a sudden, they came out of nowhere and got caught cheating really bad. And you notice when Miami got with Nevin Shapiro with guys on in strip clubs and boats and stuff like that, it was a – I mean, it was the death penalty. I mean, they, it was all over the place. You, you haven't even heard anything about, about Ole Miss. And 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 Tonsu from the from the Dolphins, he the one. Yeah, they gave us money. Yeah, they paid my mama rent. <laughs> I mean, it's all over TV. I mean, during during the NFL draft, he's talking about this during the NFL draft, talking about it, and no one is mentioning it. You know why? Because the SEC, so they know how to cover it up. I'm t I'm I, I I really despise that conference. I don't care. I'm, whatever. I hope everybody beat them, not because they're good. I don't despise Alabama. I just despise a lot of the SEC. And I, I know I'm on your show. I, you know I'm, I, I keep it 100% real. I ain't apologize. No, I apologize to you, but I ain't apologize to no SEC fans. Y'all can get it. Y'all can come on my show and give me. tell me what y'all think. Tell me why you're mad, and I'll tell you why I'm right. Well, so you want to go viral. This may be the way to do it. I mean, I don't care. I mean, I, I take all of them on. Tennessee sucks. Um, South Carolina's trash. Um I get Georgia some respect. I can't. I'm not gonna hate on Georgia. I'm not gonna hate on teams that's good. I'm not gonna hate on LSU. I'm not gonna hate on good teams. Ten, I'm, but those bad teams, those Vanderbilts and Kentuckys and Ole Misses and um, y'all trash. Arkansas. Arkansas. Come on, man. Y'all are y'all are really y'all are really not good football programs. Y'all are decent. Y'all are above Conference USA. Pretty this much. I, and when anybody talk trash about Miami, I tell them. The greatest players in the NFL are from, just go look it up, are from Broward, Dade County, period. So you could, when people say Miami bought players, they didn't have to. They were homebred. Why would a Miami kid go from Miami to Alabama? 
Miami put more NFL players in than Alabama. So why would a Miami kid go from Miami to Alabama? I'm going to let you think about that. Why would I go from bright sites and big city to um, Tuscaloosa? I'm just saying. I mean, Miami breeds talent. The Miami don't have to cheat. They born and bred there. So for all these clowns that say Miami cheated, they, all your talent comes from Miami, not from Alabama. All your talent comes from Miami, not from, from, from Arkansas. The only play, the only, the only college team that in the SEC that has just purebred home talent is LSU and Georgia. Period. There is no other team in the SEC that just has purebred home talent. Alabama's, they got big country boys. But you don't see, though, their skill positions aren't from really from Alabama. Just look at it. I mean, their linebackers aren't really from Alabama. Just look at it. So when you look, and they're, they're most likely another state I keep saying, I've said it to you a thousand times, not because you're the fan of theirs, is Ohio State. They don't have to leave Ohio. Michigan has to leave Michigan to come to Ohio. Ohio don't go to Michigan to plug talent. It's vice versa. Because somebody was telling me about, about, about Desmond Howard. Desmond Howard's from Ohio. Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson from Ohio. All right, LeBron James from Ohio. I mean, come on, stop it with stop it with these when, when people say teams are paying players and this and that. Players want to stay home unless they're probably getting a little bit of money. So stop it. I don't want to hear that Miami cheat. My Miami ain't cheating on they every you seen blue chips. It's every team in the country. Miami didn't have the money to compete with these big schools. Those kids want to rep their city. They want to rep Miami. Had nothing to do with giving them money. Uncle Luke paid them. You think Uncle Luke got more money than the boosters at Alabama? Serious? Come on, man. Come on, stop it. Well, I saw the numbers pretty recently that if you look at the four and five star recruits that are uh, that are homegrown there in Broward County and in Dade County, if Miami took all the Miami couldn't take all those guys. They, they don't have enough scholarships because there's like 50 of them a year versus they've only got 20 or 22 scholarships. Mm -hmm. So they can stay right home. And there's still, a, there's still another whole scholarship class of four and five stars to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Not just that. Amazing. A, a three-star in Miami will be a five-star in South Carolina. It's hard to get that star down there, man. Mm. It's hard to get that star in Miami. You look at players like Teddy Bridgewater. You look at those players, I think, what was that, a three, four, three star, somewhere in there? You look at some of those players, four, you look at some of those players in Miami that, that leave, you know what I'm saying, that, that go to other schools, that are three star players, you looking like, you got to be kidding me. Those guys are athletes. Those guys in that area are just freakish athletes. So that's what, I, that's what gets me so upset when I hear people just trash Miami, like, you know, those players started staying home with, with Snellenberger. Those players were going other places. They were going to Notre Dame's and Michigan's and Ohio State. Well, like I say, Ohio State never had to pluck talent. They never did. That's why Michigan wants to do these satellite camps all over the place because they don't have that same. They got basketball talent. They don't got that football talent. Um, but Miami never had to leave. What do they say? Give me, give me Broward Day count. Let me lock this off and we good. And we're good. So they didn't have to pay players because players wanted to stay home. Florida State was great because of so many Miami players. Florida was great because of so many Miami players. Others, other places can't say that. So when people say that Miami cheated, I'll tell you, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Those, your teams cheated because they had to steal those players from Miami, which means they probably had to pay them a couple of dollars, bought some houses and stuff. I'm just being real. I hate it when people say that. They trash Miami like Miami just – like people want to go to Tuscaloosa. Do you know what in the world is in Tuscaloosa? I, I mean, it's a stop sign. It's a stop sign, a traffic light, and a bow jingles. Well, kid want to hang out in Tuscaloosa? And you can't tell me to get to the NFL faster if I go to Alabama over Miami. That's just false. You know, so, hey, I'm, hey let it go viral. I don't care about it. No SEC fan. All y'all can get it. If y'all talk trash to Mark Rogers for having me on, I'm definitely going to give it to you. I love it. All right, Zo. You promised me 30. You gave me close to 50, so I'm not going to keep you too long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got to get – to sleep. I went had to go to the hospital, check on my nephew out. I got off work today. So now I'm gonna get me some rest. So all right. He's Alonzo1219. So catch him on uh on Twitter and on YouTube. Please subscribe and uh follow him on Twitter as well. And as though as always, if there's anything I can do for you, you just let me know. Otherwise we'll catch up soon. I appreciate it, Mark. You're gonna you might get some hate mail on this video. All right. <laughs> You, you don't you don't want them to be indifferent. That's the key. 
They can love you or hate you, but just don't be indifferent. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you 100% of me all the time, exactly how I feel. So when you see me in the street, I'm going to have the same energy for you. If I don't like it, it is what it is. So I all appreciate right. it. I'm going to stay on a couple minutes and just pump up the channel and tell people what we've got going on and uh, maybe answer some questions or see what else is going on here. But I'm not going to be on too long myself. All right, uh, Mark. So you have a great night. You too, my brother. Thanks, man. All right. That's Alonzo1219. And uh, he speaks for himself. It's, uh, he does a great job. So what I do here, and every time I have a different guest on for a particular team, I'll see some comments that will be fist pumping and loving that particular guest and saying that they're the best guest or the worst guests. Um, certainly I love the different perspectives. So I have four or five different Miami contributors come on. Zoe is one of the main guys, of course, Cam Underwood, wholesome one, uh, Dwayne Holloway came on last night. Uh, they are three of the very best and they just take it from a different perspective, each one and bring a little bit of a different angle. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so we talk college football here and please like comment and subscribe. And as Zoe said, that if you're watching any of the major networks or even the local stations, they, they promote. So of course we're going to promote when you, uh, pay your cable bill, you're subscribing, you're subscribing to ESPN. And when you watch their promos, you're watching promos. So sometimes you got to listen to a few seconds of promos here. So like comment, subscribe. There's my promo to Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. And of course, down on the description section of each video, you'll see three links shop at Amazon. If you do, most of you do, zillions of people do. That's why Amazon's the biggest giant in the world, along with Google and Apple. So when you shop at Amazon, please just grab one of those links. You don't have to buy what's on there. Just grab one of the links and use that to shop at Amazon. And I will be internally, eternally indebted. My mailing list gets underway starting the first week of the college football season. So if you want to be on the mailing list for just a different slice of college football take from me each Monday, then send me your email to markrogerstv at gmail, markrogerstv at gmail, send me your email address and nothing will be done with it except sending you my, my week to week college football take updates on the channel, uh, fun facts on college football, uh, unique statistics and all of that, uh, on my weekly take to my mailing list. So send me your email and of course, I'm not going to do anything crazy with it because I'm an upstanding guy. But beyond that, you have my email as well. So I'm not going to do anything crazy with your email or bombard you with emails, just the one per week. All right, folks, again, shop at Amazon, use one of the links. Get me your email for the big mailing list here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. If you love Florida State, Miami, you should be in heaven over the last two nights because we talked Florida State and Miami last night, along with Georgia, but FSU and the Canes last night. Tonight, more Florida State, Miami talk. Tomorrow, it's Georgia Tech, it's Michigan, it's Penn State and Alabama and LSU right here at Mark Rogers TV. It's all during the day. I don't know how much I'm going to be on tomorrow night, but Friday around the lunch hour, and I will get the schedule out to you soon. It's going to be LSU, Georgia Tech, uh, Penn State, Alabama, and uh, Michigan as well. Right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. So thanks so much for jumping on board. We always appreciate uh, the comments, the likes, and the suggestions. And uh, we had a suggestion today for me to cut a video of the top 10 video or the top 10 rivalries in college football. And so I'm not taking too many suggestions right now, and you can understand why. Uh, I've got schedule rankings coming out. I've got 70 to do. I've knocked out 45. I've got about 25 to go. Then I'm doing previews on all the Power 5 teams plus predictions. So that's going to keep me busy along with the live streams, the camp reports that I'm bringing you from all over the place. Um, most of the suggestions that you have, I want them all the time but bring most of them during the off season because that's when we're looking for unique topics and storylines and angles. Uh, I'm going to strike up 
the call-in show. And we'll do that. Uh, why don't we do that on Saturday? I'll find some time on Saturday, and we will do some call-ins on a Saturday. So I'm going to announce that number. I'm going to send it out all over the place so you guys have it burned into your skull where you can call Mark Rogers TV and talk college football directly. Because for as much as I love the live chat, I have had so many suggestions uh, for me to take on callers. So we will have a good time with that. All right, we will see you next time, which is going to be 11 a.m. I believe that's actually, again, I will send out the notice, but 10.30 Eastern time, Friday morning with LSU Talk, Georgia Tech, Michigan, Alabama, and Penn State. We're loading up for a big Friday send-off to get you set for 2018. Right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We will see you next time.